Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. On the agenda tonight, we have Taj Farrant and this little kid, he's nine years old, he's been all over the internet and I've had so many requests to have a look at his playing. So that's what I'm doing tonight and I'm hoping to give an objective view of his playing, a little bit of analysis as well. He's going to be playing through Tennessee Whiskey. So let's get Taj up on screen and see how he gets on. I'm just going to jump in here because people that have been watching my channel a while will probably already know exactly why Taj is being seen as so good or at least why people are listening to him play and just think that he sounds great um, because there's one technique that I always harp on about and it's the one technique that especially kids as I've been teaching guitar for 15 years it's the one technique that kids don't really want to learn because they see it as a bit boring they just all want to play fast and it is the control. It's just all the control that Taj has got on his vibrato to get the expression in his playing. And when you're listening out for it as a technique, and if you haven't been on my channel before, you might not really be privy to these little techniques, but when you're looking out for it, you can see that Taj is absolutely vibratoing everywhere he can, and he's also varying his vibrato in terms of getting a really cool, slow, wide vibrato, and then just speeding it up to get a little bit more angst in the sound. By no means is he a one-trick pony, because he's worked on the technical elements of playing as well. He's got a decent amount of speed there when he wants it, just throwing it in there. But another thing that you've got to look out for when you're watching him play is the dynamic change that he's got on that right hand. Again, another thing that I put right up there with the top players is the way that he changes from picking the string, getting that more aggressive sound, to then playing with his thumb and his fingers. And it's one of those things that if you're watching his right hand, you can see that interchange happening all the time. But when you're just listening to the music and listening to the expression, these things are the things that really do fly under the radar. 
And another thing I want to point out is that his teacher, Warren Adams, has absolutely nailed home the basics and the essentials to Taj. So he's really put the importance on that expression, that vibrato, the feel of what he's playing rather than speed. Everyone who does play guitar, and especially if you do teach guitar, will know that speed is inevitable. If you set you up a metronome and you gradually increase the tempo, you're going to get faster. Your brain, your muscle memory adapts to that and you can get pretty fast. If you start playing young, you can get as fast as you want. Sometimes when you're older, you have a job and you've got to pay the rent and you don't have the time to put the hours in when you do as a kid, the amount of free time. So a lot of people will know that speed is almost inevitable if you're practicing the right way. Whereas feel and emotion and expression is something that you can't read from a book. When it says, now play that with emotion, it's like, well, how do you do that? It's having the teacher who knows about expression and the techniques to focus on in order to get that expression. Because if everyone can play fast, what's the one thing that is going to separate one player from another player? And that's what it is. It's just that expression, the ability to give the guitar a voice. And I don't want to leave Taj out of this because a lot of people might say that, oh, he's obviously got a great teacher who's a great player. And that's the reason that Taj plays so well. And it couldn't be further from the truth. Obviously, you've got to have those things. But the kid that you're teaching has got to have the temperament to take on what you are trying to tell them. And certainly at nine years of age, I would say that very few kids of this age have an appreciation of something that is more in line with being an adult in terms of being able to feel emotion and, you know, having love and lost and all that kind of stuff that then the great blues players put into their playing. Having an appreciation of that at nine years old is rare, you know, to say the least, especially being able to then communicate some kind of emotion through the guitar at that young age. There's always going to be a novelty about a kid playing really well. And generally, kids are great at playing fast because, like I mentioned earlier, they've got the time to put in and set it to a metronome and they will get impressively fast. But having the ability to express and play like an adult is something totally different. So look away from the screen, listen to Taj's playing and just tell me that that is not the sound of an adult playing the guitar because it absolutely is. It's something that I've listened to this whole video, just not taking in any visual information, just listening to the techniques and the expression. And Taj absolutely has such great control and such great phrasing and dynamics in his playing already at such a young age. And I think he's only been playing for about two and a half years, something like that. But let's get back into it.
I'm just going to stop it there because the video is going to cut out. But another thing that Taj has got is the guitar face. You know, he's absolutely nailed that already at such a young age. So that, you can put a tick by it. But seriously as well, with that right hand, the organization of alternate picking, but also just downstrokes and upstrokes. And this really does show how if you're being taught the right way and you don't get into any bad habits, you can really, I mean, playing for two and a half years, obviously Taj has put in a hell of a lot of practice every day in order to get these techniques up to this level, but it just goes to show that if you are just strict with your practice and you are playing with correct technique, you can really start to improve technically over such a short time. And look at how much Taj is employing vibrato even when he lands on the string in a position where he can't actually affect that string by bending it in order to get that vibrato sound. He still tries to do something with it because that technique is absolutely embedded throughout his playing as it is through all the top players. It's just an absolute bedrock of top level playing. And I know that some people will say, oh, I heard a guitarist and they just played straight notes. And that's generally one of two things. First of all, it might be a top player who is making a musical statement. So they might have had in a particular piece, lots of vibrato at the beginning, and now they're playing straight notes in order to get a contrast musically with what they were doing before. The second point at which you might hear straight notes is just purely that the player has not worked at their vibrato, they don't feel comfortable on that fretboard, and not having a comfortable or controlled vibrato means that it will sound out of control. And that's the last thing a guitar player wants to sound like. And generally what you'll find is the players will go for that whammy bar. That's what they'll use in order to give them that expression when they haven't got that vibrato on the fretboard. Obviously, if you're playing a fixed bridge or your whammy bar snaps off, then you're in trouble. That's why all the great players of nowadays and yesteryear have all got it just in their left hand. You give them any guitar, they will make it sing. But Taj has got that already in his left hand, as well as some technical ability there. That synchronization between left hand and right hand is impressive to get such clear, concise runs. And let me just point out the tone as well. We're not bathed in delay or reverb here. We haven't got a whole load of overdrive. I know that Taj does affect the sound ever so slightly just opens it up a little bit into that overdrive but that's for dynamic effect it's not trying to hide any inadequacies in his playing it's just to embellish the sound this is a totally different situation where the music stands up on its own it's not the novelty of a child playing it's just good it is just great expression and great playing so it does really put this in a league of its own because it's not a novelty thing that, oh, listen to how good this kid is considering he's a kid. He's got that expression down there and he's worked on those techniques that so rarely get worked on by young players. So Taj Farrant, what a great young player this kid is. And just a quick shout out as well to Warren Adams, which is Taj's teacher, because he's teaching him in such a way that it's really giving Taj a great appreciation of those fundamentals of being a great expressive player. And all of those top players that you've ever heard of and that are around at the moment, they're all expressive players and it's also a way of teaching so that you don't force the child to do anything playing wise that they don't want to and some teachers have this nasty habit of trying to get all of their students to try and play like them whereas when you do have a student that has a natural propensity for playing you can guide that student down their own path and just teach them the techniques that they need in order to really fulfill their potential. And that's exactly what Warren is doing with Taj. So hats off to him as a teacher, just for teaching the way that he does and not stifling the natural ability and the natural talent that Taj has for playing this instrument. But thank you to all of you who suggested this video for me to take a look at. Keep those suggestions coming in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Rock.